So after retrieving your film from the processor, you place it back in the Dixie cup and bring it over to a mounting station. Start off by turning your view box on. It's just the button to the side here that you click. You want to make sure that you grab a label and a mounting and a pen. So you start off by writing your name and the date, it's really important, and also the doctor's name. And then first thing I do is I take my film and you want to lay it all out before you mount it, otherwise you can be putting films in the mount and just like taking them out, putting them back in, it just saves time that way. The number one thing you want to remember for mounting is that the convex dot is always out, so bubble out. And you can just start by laying out all your film, make sure the bubble's forward. So slip in your name tag at the top of your mount mounting. Now the first thing I start off with is your anterior, and this is for paralleling. Bisecting would only have three slots. So you'd start with your anterior teeth first. And the centrals are fairly big. So you could always tell what's going to be your centrals. If I can get it up. And then dot is facing out and you just slip it in like so. Now you always want to make sure that you'll know too that the dot is on the incisal edge for your anteriors and for your per periapical. So that helps. Next thing is your canine shots. And the difference between for canines that you can tell from the top and the bottom is you look for the sinus. So. The sinuses are your going to be your biggest clue for maxillary teeth. Now for your mandibular, you want to With the mandibular, some of the anatomical landmarks would be the mental foramen. So that's kind of a big indicator for to help with your canine shot. And then next, I go to bite wings. And the good thing about bite wings is you want to make sure that it has a smile line. So it looks like a smile. And you can tell that this is your premolar shot because it's got the distal of the canine. So that just goes up here. And with this one especially you can see like how the um, how the third molar is like tipped so it looks like a smile so that you know that it goes here and if you have them side by side you can kind of compare them too to make sure which one's your premolar shot and which one's your molar shot and just slip them in and next we come to periapical this is probably the trickiest part so I like to separate mine, so making sure that the dot's always out and the dot's on the incisal edge. So that's first things first. Next thing I like to do is the sinuses 
you can tell which one are maxillary. So we have a maxillary one here, and a maxillary one here, and a maxillary one here, and a maxillary one here. A good thing about periapical pictures as well is if you compare them, you want to make sure that both teeth beside each other match up. So with this one especially, it gives you a little hint, the third molar is coming in, so we know that that would go on the left side of the mount. You can look for like little clues like that, or like with chipped teeth or, or erupting teeth, and then you know. It's kind of like a puzzle. You start eliminating pieces and pieces match up and go together. And then for the bottom, we have the smile line again. You want to look for the curvature of the roots. And you're going to know that these are the last because you can see the distal of the third molar. So we know that that goes in there. And last but not least, we have our two premolar shots. And it's as easy as that. And then you just want to take a look and make sure that everything matches up before you hand it in. Alright, so when your films come out of the processor, they'd be in your Dixie cup and you take them over to a mounting surface. You lay them all out like we did previously with paralleling. This is bisecting mount and I know this because if you were to compare them, there's only room for three, maxillary and three mandibular, whereas paralleling, there's four and four. So once we figured that out, you turn on your mount. Make sure you have your name tag so you, we know who did it. And I'm just going to point out some things that you would help you with mounting. So you'd start off by making sure that all your bubbles are up. The convex dot is towards you. That's the most important part with mounting. The next thing is I start off with my anterior teeth. Um, the centrals are usually the easiest because they're the biggest teeth. And then you have your canines. When mounting the maxillary, you look for the sinus. Um, you could, there's lots of um, indicators that help you to recognize which side it is by the way that the roots point. So because the roots are pointing to the right, you know it goes on the right side. Also on this picture here, this tooth is, has a post in it so you know that it'd be directly beside it because of the post. So you can look for like little clues like that to help you. Um, for the mandibular, uh, the smallest teeth in the front would be the mandibular centrals. And then you have the canines beside them. And you can tell because there's no sinus. And next thing I do bite wings. And you can clearly see the smile line here and how the roots make the smile line. So you're looking for, with periapical, the most important part is the um, convex dot is always to the incisal edge. And your roots, again, are have a smile line, are tipped. Um, you can really see in, this, in these pictures the maxillary sinus. Um, and along with the bottom, the mandibular, there will be two roots on your molars, whereas the maxillary have three roots, so that's another indication. Your anatomical landmarks, you want to keep those in mind as well. The mental foramen and your the Y sinus.